In this video, we are going to take a look at generating icons for our substance materials. So in this example, I have this bricks graph open. This is my bricks material, and I'd like to generate an icon for this. So here, I'm going to just double click in an empty area of the graph that takes me over to the properties for the graph and underneath the base parameters, I have my attributes. Now, if I scroll down, you can see I have a section here for icon and this allows me to add an icon which will represent my material. This icon is saved with the publish substance material file and is visible here in my library. So I can click the folder button or click this browse button to browse for an image file that maybe I rendered in a third party application. I can also paste in something from my clipboard to add the icon. However, the more interesting method is to allow Substance Designer to generate the icon for me. So I'm going to click this generate button and you can see here that that quickly generates an icon which represents my material. Now, one thing I'll notice here is that I have some displacement values, and in this particular case, the displacement is a bit intense. Substance Designer is simply using the PBR render node to create this icon. Now, looking at the icon, I can see that, well, the displacement intensity value is, well, it's pretty high for this icon, and it doesn't fully represent what I have here in terms of displacement intensity in my 3D view. In order to control this intensity value, I can come up here to the physical size and I can enter in some values that represent the physical size for this particular material. So when I authored this material, I created it so that it would be 300 units on the X and Y and 15 units on the Z. Those units in my case represent centimeters. So I'm going to come in and just enter those values. So I'll enter 300, hit the tab key, 300, and finally here hit the tab key, 15 for that Z depth. So now that I have the physical size set up, I'm going to click this generate button once more. So the icon that's generated from the PBR render node now has an appropriate displacement scale and it matches what I have set here in my 3D view. Again, because I'm feeding into the PBR render node, the physical size that represents the physical size of this material. So we have another way of controlling this displacement intensity and that is to create a physical size output. So let's take a look at that method. So what I'm going to do is just simply come back and let's just reset this to its default values again. So zero, zero, and zero. And just so that we can see the difference, let's click generate once more. So at that default range, my displacement intensity is too high. So let's control this with an output now. So I'm gonna hit the tab key and I am going to type in output and I'm gonna create a new output node. So I can now create a new physical size usage. So I need to type this in. So I'm going to start to type in physical size and I'll hit enter. And so now I have this usage set. So in order to drive or set this value for my physical size, I'm going to use the value processor. Here I'll hit the tab key and you can see that we have the value processor. This node allows me to represent data in the substance graph as numerical values. So here with the node selected, I'm going to click this edit button to actually edit the function graph. And I simply just need to create a float value. So I'll hit tab once more. And here I'm just going to do a search for float and I'm going to create a float three that represents the X, Y, Z values of that physical size. Here I'm going to use those same values as I did previously. So it's 300 by 300 by 15, I'll hit enter. Then I'll right click the node and choose to set as output. What's really nice about this is that here in the 2D view, I can visually see the numeric values. So again, if I jump back over to my graph, here in the graph, I can actually see what those physical size values are for this particular material. All right, so let's hook this up. Let's just simply take the output and plug this into our physical size output. Then we will double click to get back to the attributes for my graph. And then let's simply click the generate button to generate my material. So now you can see that even though my physical size attributes are all set to zero, Substance Designer was able to take a look at this custom physical size output in order to drive the intensity value for this icon generation. So that's all there is to it. The big takeaway is to remember that you can control that displacement intensity by either entering the physical size as part of the attributes or through creating a custom physical size output. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.